Hey all, I'm Hummy at Hummy's World and I've been asked to do a tutorial on the snipping tool in Windows. Now I'm going to take a quick detour for Mac users. Um, I don't have Mac so I can't help you but I can send you to other resources. I found um, if I when I searched for um, screen capture or screenshot about.com tells me that um, Mac users have it built right in and here's all the keyboard shortcuts and I can link you up with this and um, you can um, just read this to learn. Uh, Lifehacker recommended a $10 purchase for a program called Skitch. But back to Windows. So this is, uh, I think it might have started in Vista. I'm not sure. I know it's not an XP. It's definitely in Windows 7 and 8. Um, and to get to the snipping tool, click your start button and just start typing snipping and there it is you see it shows up and I can click on it and open it up um, and now all I do is to click down on my cursor where I want to start to capture the screenshot and drag and these are the layers that are my active layers for this image um, the ones down below were for my other image and in the blending mode class at Hummies World, I've asked everybody to get a screenshot of their layers palette to show um, the uh, recipe so everybody can learn from each other. And uh, so that's the purpose of this uh, video. And I'll show you some of the other tools in here real quickly. Um, this is our screenshot. Now let's say uh, but we don't like, I messed up, you know, I didn't quite drag where I wanted to drag. I can click new and then just start over and get another screenshot. And um, there's this handy tool. You can uh, use the pin tool. Mine's a default red. You can uh, choose uh, any number of colors. You can make it the the thicker or thinner lines um, and you've got a round tip or a chisel tip I'm going to click cancel and just use what I have um, you can um, go ahead and let's say I want to make them look at this layer here and draw an arrow look there um, you know uh, type word or handwrite words I, I can't do that very well <laughs> And then let's say you goof up, you don't like your handwriting, you grab the eraser tool and you just click right on anything that you want to get rid of that you've written out there. Uh, got a little dot there that doesn't want to come off. Ah, there, came off. Um, here's the highlighter. So if you have text, maybe you've gotten a screenshot for your friend of some of the text, somebody's text in. Uh, on a on a blog post and you want to show them where it reads it you just grab the highlighter and you can highlight also get the eraser and erase the highlighting um, the copy this is for email but I never use that um, you can if you want but the copy copies to your clipboard and so now this is like copy to my clipboard and the reasons that I generally use copy are if I'm in Photoshop I can simply hit control V and you see there it is it appeared right in a layer in my layers palette and um, I can get several screenshots and you know combine them in in Photoshop um, Another reason I would use copy, I would copy it to my clipboard and I might be in the middle of an email and I can just press control V and it will um, put it right in the middle of my email that I'm typing to somebody. So uh, control V in your Photoshop programs or you know your emails will paste it right in there most of the time. 
But what we want to do is uh, use the save. Um, I do want to show you uh, one other thing before we save. I'm going to click to close and not save it. I'm going to go back down here and click. Now you can take this and put it somewhere. Um, I actually, you can put it on your desktop, right click and you know choose to put it in your taskbar in your in your start menu or uh, send to desktop as a shortcut so you don't have to keep searching here if that's what you do I actually have my shortcuts in a folder and I put the folder here these are the programs I use most often and I always come here to my snipping tool now what I wanted to show you is if you minimize this and then you bring it back up you have to click new again and then you can go and get your screenshot now I'm going to click save and I'm gonna to go to my desktop and it always comes up with a default name of capture so you're going to want to come up with another uh, name uh, mine is the darken sample uh, recipe I guess I'll, I'll call it and because it's the recipe of how I got to my image and um, now I can just close this out and go down whoops go down to my desktop which I had to clean up thank you very much to do this lesson I cleaned it up by dropping it in this folder but here's my blending mode photo folder 18.2 gigabytes of goodness in there uh, all the videos and all 40 videos and images and textures are in there but here is my uh, screenshot saved to my desktop. I can open it up just like you do any other image. Mine happens to open up in Windows Live Photo Gallery. So whatever yours opens up as. And this is a JPEG and you can take it and upload it to Flickr, um, you know, or wherever else you're uploading it, uh, just like your other images. And um, you could upload it to your blog. Um, you can upload it in the forum if you're trying to help someone and you're trying to show them well go here in the program that's how we do it um, this is a lot of this is uh, used to on my own help pages in the forum so uh, uh, once again very quick review search for snipping bring up the tool click down where you want to get your screenshot click save go to your desktop name it and click save of course I'm saving over mine so I'm clicking yes and and close out and there it is on your desktop ready to upload somewhere and share with the world I hope this video has helped you